Ladies and gentlemen, a new version of the Minecraft launcher has been released. I asked on Twitter and some of you wanted to see an update video about this one, so let's go through the changes in this version. Now, if you're on Windows or on a Mac, then you don't need to do anything specific to get this version. It will auto-update to this version, and you will know that you have it down here in the corner. It will say something like 2.1.247 and then something. The version numbers are different between different operating systems, but it will be close to what you have here on screen. Now, as for what changed in this version, a lot of it is going to be behind the scenes. A whole lot of work has been done to this launcher to make updates in the future be smaller to download and faster to install. With that said, there are a bunch of important bug fixes and changes in this version, so let's go through those. Let's start by opening the menu bar up here. And we have settings, and up here is a button to update to beta versions of the launcher. If I flip this on, this means that the launcher from now on will update to beta versions, not just releases. Now, as we just released this version of the launcher, the beta is the same as the release. But in the future, if I flip this on, then I would get a notification up here that there is a new version to update to, and I could then close and restart the launcher to update to the beta version. If you want to see new things added to the launcher quicker than everybody else, then flip this on, but keep in mind that beta versions are going to be less well tested. The second important thing on this page is going to be this other button here, Open Log Output. The output log window used to be very laggy, especially when playing versions of the game that put out a lot of log output. That has been fixed in this version. We've reworked this window and it should now be much, much faster when dealing with lots of log output. Another straight bug fix, this sorting of profiles by name or by last played just simply did not work. We fixed that bug in this version, so if you've been disappointed by the sorting before, it probably works properly now. Let's go over into launch options and add a new profile. Now I'm gonna make a profile for a very old version, in this case 1.5.2. And let's scroll down on the list and find that. Here we go, let's save that. And I now have my profile for Minecraft 1.5.2. In earlier versions of Minecraft, a different resource system was used and the site for those resources has now gone offline, which means that you can't get the sounds and resources for early versions of Minecraft anymore through the actual game. So in this version of the launcher, we have implemented a workaround to fill in those sounds for you. So if I start this version of Minecraft now, let me bring that up to you here then you will now see that if I click here, we now have sounds in the game. So to be aware, this is not a perfect solution. Some of the sounds are wrong for some of the versions of the game, and fixing that is actually a significant problem. It's a pretty big thing to fix without going in and modifying those versions of the game themselves, which we really cannot do. But at least you can play Minecraft old versions with sound now. And one final bug I want to mention that we have fixed is that the launcher would not launch the game properly if you had a symbolic link in your Minecraft folder name. So that should now work. Now, with all of that said, I do know a few of you have had problems with this update, and if you're one of them, then I would encourage you to please do go to bugs.moyang.com and submit your bug report, and please include as much details as you can about the problem, like attaching the log files and telling us what system you're running on, so that we can pinpoint these problems and fix them for you as soon as possible. That is all from me, my name is Sliced Lime. thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.